Hi. The Platinum Jubilee draws closer. Less than a week and a half away, the obsequious build-up is already unbearable. Every effort imaginable has been ploughed into boosting the entire royal family. Miners, currently at least, nonce Andrew. The prevailing atmosphere of conformity acceptance of this medieval groveling is excruciating to all malcontents, anarcho or otherwise. Voices of dissidents are absent by one or two individuals. Every part of the alternative establishment, rock and film stars, TV and sports personalities, are falling over themselves to be included in the events. There's other bad tidings. Recently it looked like old Sourpuss, the Queen, was on her last legs. For example, ducking out of the state opening of Parliament. But she's reappeared at horse shows, infrastructure openings, looking quite sprightly for someone of her advanced age. Once all the ballyhoo cow-towing has finished in a couple of weeks, it opens the dread possibility that this mass fetishization of her and the royal family will continue, reaching even more absurd proportions, especially since politicians of all shades, government, opposition, are universally unpopular. What if the nightmare continues and she reaches a hundred? And if that ain't bad enough, the whole shebang carrying on until a special jubilee for when she reaches a hundred and one. More pertinently, where's the spirit of rebellion that was brewing way back in 1977 when we had the first jubilee absurdity? It seems that our contemporary young are fascinated with the whole royal spectacle, at least as regards social media such as TikTok, and I ain't talking from a subversive troublemaking angle. In exasperation, all I can say for the moment that it's about time the Grim Reaper stopped dragging his heels. Bye.